Hey, what's up, sexy sound? Let us go to do a try hard Thursday. How you doing? Today, obviously, I want to start with Tsukuyomi because I, I love playing that god. But I don't think I ever got to play a Freya game in the last try hard Thursday when I was doing all the magical ADCs. So I'm going to change it up. I'm going to start with Freya. And hopefully, I'll be able to finish out. I think they banned Freya a couple times, and I ended up just having to go new Wa, I believe. So I'm okay with this. I'm going to hit up the Conduit Gem, because I love the Conduit Gem clear. And then I'm going to go Bancrofts, because obviously Bancrofts is fun and very good. And I think I, I kind of want to run Beads. But I'm also thinking maybe I want to run a Horrific. I think I'm going to run beads and here's my, here's my reasoning. I actually don't think that, well, I don't think in general, but I don't think that I have kill potential because I'm starting conduit gem. If I was going mannequins or like gilded arrow or something, then maybe, but I don't know. Oh my god, I shit on him. Holy crime, any Batman. He's going for a blue buff, huh? I did not think that I was going to be able to get this buff. But, uh... Oh my god, my damage, man. That was exceptional damage. Why do I feel like I am pumping massive numbies on the Freya right now? Is it because Conduit Gem is broken as all hell? Because I wouldn't put it past. Um, I'm just going to be hella aggressive here. Let my Conduit Gem do the talking for me. Look how good my clear is, dude. I never thought there would be a day where Freya has better clear than Kronos, but I'm glad that I'm living it, man. Let's grab this. I don't think you scare me. I don't think you do nearly enough damage to scare me, actually. Like, I will say you slowing my attack speed is slightly obnoxious, but... Not to the point where I'm scared of you. We'll get his ult here. I'm cool with, with grabbing an ult. Also grabbing some nice clear too. Okay. There's nothing really up on the map for me, so I'm just going to wait it out. Going to back. Getting his ult is really good. Mainly because his ult is on a crazy high cooldown compared to mine. Also, I have beads, so... You gotta run. You gotta run, my guy. I wonder how much XP he's losing here. Because he, he already lost one minion to tower. Or one minion while they were uh, fighting each other. I think he lost another two minions of, of XP. Maybe only one minion of XP, but at least two minions of gold for sure. That's good. Very good for my clear. Or for my, for my lead, not my clear. Hello. Hello. 
I have Bancrofts and you don't, so. Jeez Louise. I am doing so much to him. He's not respecting my damage at all. Like, you gotta remember, Freya has always been, and will probably always be, good in duel. Magical ADCs are quite pog. Obviously, you're gonna wanna steal this. Definitely was rough for him. Because he had Bancrofts too, so he thought for sure he was winning that fight. He thought for sure he was about to catch some dubs. I'll take it though. The Bancrofts giveth and the Bancrofts taketh away. I do want to grab my upgraded Bancrofts. So I have some attack speed, but... It's fine. I'm surprised that he's not going for the XP camp. Seems kind of ridiculous. You can attempt to hurt me all you want. I'm not scared of you at all. Grab this. And I'm going to grab a uh, tier 2 Telekines. I might not finish the Telekines. And I might just... Uh, by the way, this is a Hasten, not a Telekines. But I might not finish the Hasten. I might go straight, excuse me, into Shoguns. But I just wanted the extra 15% attack speed. Because tier 2 Demonic has 15%. Or tier 2 of the rings. Because I got 8% from this plus 15. So uh, with that one back, I got 23% attack speed. This is pretty freaking high, by the way. That's a lot of attack speed to get on one back. He is going to go Shoguns. I find it so weird he never went for these. But whatever. I'll take it. Hello. Bonk. Okay. We got his alt for completely free. I didn't have to use anything. Like, not even a relic. He's just going to stun me and walk away. Nice. The reason I ran out of there is because stopping his back is actually massive for me. Not only does it make him lose a whole bunch of XP, it also gives me, gives me tower damage here and gives me the ability to win the next fight because he doesn't have alt and I have, uh, I have beads. So I get his blue buff and I can maybe win this fight as well. I do think I can win this fight pretty easily. Yeah. There you go. Stopping his back. Made him lose a lot of XP and gold. Gave me the blue buff and let me win the fight. So stopping that back was massive. I'll see you guys in game number two. Hello, boys. Welcome back to game number two. You know that I'm just as cringe as I've always been. I love mages. I like Kronos. I like Freya. I like Poseidon. I like Sol. I like Oleron. I like Hera. I like Baron Samity. You know, I like I like good mages. 
And I will always be cringe. It's just who I am as a person. I am cringy. And, you know, I hate to, I hate to be that guy. That's not true. I love to be that guy. I'm cringy. Deal with it. <laughs> it's just how it is. <laughs> it's just, it's just how it is. I don't know what to tell you. I, I don't, I don't love that I am this way, but you know what they always say? Don't kill the part of you that's cringy. Kill the part of you that cringe is. You just have more fun in life that way. You know, like you get back to your, your child, like eight year old self who wanted to go eat worms to see what they tasted like, you know? Oh, just, just a me thing. To be fair. I grew up in the South. Okay. So don't judge me. <laughs> so the, everyone, everyone judging me. Don't do it. You're not allowed. Hey, where's my opponent? Oh, he's doing blue. I just heard him. I was a little bit, uh, I'm a little bit surprised he didn't go for the red buff. Is it, why does it take you that long to do blue? Are you good? You okay? Uh-huh. Wait, there's no way that's a good build. There's like no way that's a good build at all. Right? Like, it, it, this can't just be a me thing. Like, there's no way it's good. You just, you do no damage. Like, this doesn't give you any power. It gives you basic attack damage, sure. And this doesn't give you any power. Your relic is Aegis, which, you know, I understand, but... I don't know. Maybe he's a YouTuber. Maybe he's a YouTuber. He's probably a YouTuber, honestly. That seems like some shit I would do. Oh, I hit for 68 already? Damn! That scared me. Hello. Care to be best friends? You and I? Gonna jump over the wall and kick my minions. Or jump over me and kick me into the tower. My three clears, right? Eh, close enough. Close enough. <clears throat> if you jump on me, I'll crack and you don't do it. Aegis. He didn't Aegis. Oh. Oh, I think he got that, um, that, uh, round shield thing. What is it called? Oh, round shield. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. He got round shield when he picked up his level five thing. That's funny. All right. Now he's going to do some damage. Now he has attack speed and extra basic attack damage. So he just sacrificed the early game for like a decent mid game, I guess. But even still, like anything other than your actual autos is not going to hurt me very much. And I feel kind of safe. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't feel as safe as I feel, but I really just don't think he's going to hurt me that much. That's my blue. Alright, I did pick up red buff, which kind of annoying. I know I did it at level 3 as well, but I wasn't really under any pressure, so I didn't need the mana. So I thought red buff would be fine. But right now, I wish I did have blue buff instead of red. <clears throat> Dude, I'm already 1.1k up on him. Which is kind of a lot. Also, I should have backed a while ago. I have 2.2k gold, and I... I want to stack this game. Maybe I'll double stack. Just for the 
heck of it. Ouch. That did 68 damage. He just kicked a minion into me for 68 damage. I'm gonna double stack. Why, you might ask? Oh, well, friend. It's because I don't know what else to do. <laughs> I don't know. I'm really enjoying Smite, man. I really love recording and, like, just messing around, talking, I guess, to you guys, but... If you think about it, it's really just to myself. Hello. Oh, that was not good. <laughs> Man, that minion got shit on. Oh. Resulted 257 damage. I know it's not designed to do a lot of damage. Like, that ult is meant mainly for controlling an area mainly for team fighting or being able to be that that aggressive player you want to be uh, on Gilgamesh but like 200 damage kind of low he's defense into defense so I think he expects to not die ever but I still do a lot more damage than he thinks and I only have 180 power Yeah, like, I'm I'm kind of pumping. I missed my one. He would have died if I hit that one. Alright. That's fine. I can go back and start stacking my Warlock Sash, too. And I'll grab a Blink. I know Beads would be really good, or Beads is really good against uh, Gilgamesh. Just not letting him be able to kick you into a wall or not letting his alt control your movement both are valid reasons also i want red buff right now because with book of thought and warlock staff and sands of time mp5 i feel like my mana should be fine hello can i get an aegis from you thank you i don't think i am in any danger at all Oh, good kick. I actually meant that not sarcastically, by the way. I know I said, oh, good kick, and then killed him. But I didn't think my auto was going to land, and I actually genuinely thought that his kick saved his life. Like, I didn't think my, my auto was going to be able to hit him at all. So I got lucky there, is what I'm saying. Yeah, my man is completely fine now. I've went through so many different uh, rotations of abilities. And I have 50 MP5 as well, so like... I'm vibing. Hello. I probably should not have taken this fight. Taking the other fight was fine, but taking this fight was dumb. <clears throat> oh, he's about to have some power, dude. I do have shell, actually. I guess I just go shard. And the reason I go shard is he's stacking defense up pretty heavy already. He has 163 magic defense. I could just go breastplate and say whatever and just outlast him. But the more his build comes online, the less my build is going to do, like damage wise, if I don't have pen. So. I need the pen. I need the pen. 15. Big damage. Honestly, not really that big of damage. Oh, he horrific me. All right. That went pretty well. I mean, he horrific me and altered me. And I still won the fight. He cannot keep doing that, man. <clears throat> like, I understand your Gilgamesh, and, like, the only fun you get from Gilgamesh is kicking things. But you can't kick the wave when you've done it four times in a row. And I know exactly what you're going to do. I'm just going to whirlpool your feet 
and auto you down with my two every single time. You can't keep doing it. All right, I got uh thirty percent pen now. His warlock staff is ten percent, and obsidian shard is twenty. And max pen is forty percent, right? Yeah, so I'm pretty much max pen right now. So I think my damage should be pretty good. And now I'm going into Breastplate. I have 600 power right now. Almost. Let's see if you're going to come over here or not. <clears throat> you're getting the wave. God damn, I did that quick. Surprised he back there. I guess he probably gets an item power spike. I want to get this blue to, just to make sure that he can't have it. Also, it evolves my Warlock Sash. Which I don't actually know what that does, but... Seems like it'll be good. Jesus, my damage is nuts. I missed my everything. I missed my everything. There's the horrific. I don't love him horrificing because as good as it is, it's like you are jumping in, committing to a fight that the only way you win, even with horrific, is if you fuck up or if I fuck up. So he's kind of like preying on my downfall. Which is not the way you win games. Obviously, sometimes you need to do it when you're really far behind. Like he is right now. He needs to like... Okay, the only way I win is if he messes up and I can... You know... Uh, take advantage of it, but... Him being aggressive is not... How I mess up. Him being defensive and me overstaying my welcome is... Is how he then jumps on me and then he horrific. That's what he's supposed to do. But I wasn't overstaying. Bonk. Damn. Not enough damage. Close, but not enough. I will say, my numbies are just massive. Ouch. Okay, so right now? Right now is when he should have horrific. I probably wouldn't have been able to... Oh god, please. Oh, nice, I got out. Okay. Got a text? Okay. I'm overstaying my welcome right here really bad. If only I'd blink up, man gonna do some damage to titan titan doesn't regen that fast so actually you know what i can just win the game here fuck it gg zeroshi i could have killed him with that with that uh kraken because he doesn't have aegis but there's no sense in like humiliating him there's no sense in it i i'm four levels up four and a half thousand gold up there's just no point in going any further so, GG on game number two. I'll see you guys in game number three. Hello, sexual characters. <clears throat> I'm playing Kronos. Why? I, know, I just want to. <laughs> I just want to. I'm a mage, man. I don't know what to tell you, Steven Fire. This guy used to play set a lot. Like a lot, like a lot, a lot, a lot. Like so many much that a lot doesn't even do it justice. That's how many a lot's. Um, I like Uh I was gonna say I like my odds of a level three fight because of mannequins. But I don't know. So sets three only gives him physical protection or or physical damage reduction. It doesn't actually give him magical damage reduction.
So I don't think it's actually very bad. I, I think I'm kind of chilling. Got him. Yeah, with mannequins, I definitely destroy you. That was perfect. I very much so made him hate... Uh, made him hate the scenario he's in. Which is great for me. Also, we went bluestone instead of mannequins. So I'm thinking maybe I have a chance to steal this. Perfect. Let's go, dude. That literally could not have been more perfect. Oh, that stun actually hit him too. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I am in a very good lead right now. And I am curious what Steven thinks of me. Because I think there was a point in time when he would just come to my stream and shit talk me. And I don't know if he still thinks that way about me, which, you know, would be entirely fine if he did. But I'm wondering if he's playing with hatred. Because if he's playing with hatred, I can abuse that. That's that's the only reason I wonder. Not because I care. <laughs> I've been doing this job for so long that it's kind of hard for me to like care if anyone hates me. But I do know enough that if somebody plays with hatred towards you, they're going to make far more aggressive plays than they normally would. Which is something I can abuse by being ultra defensive. But I don't know. It doesn't seem like he's making very aggressive plays. The level 3 fight was a bit weird. Like, even after I stunned him and was railing him, he just kind of W keyed me for a while. It's a bit weird. Okay. And this, this fight is very, very weird. Because I am not in any danger. You are, though. Oh, there's the beads. All right. Well, we traded alts, but uh, I think I definitely got the better of it. Because I have the current pressure at the moment. Mm, I guess I can back. I can get bluestone. Not bluestone, bluestone. Bancrofts, I meant. Are you okay? This is this is what I mean. I feel like he's playing with anger because... Like, what's the point in doing everything he just did when he knows it's not going to result in a kill? I don't know. I guess he does get his blue buff back by stopping me. Which is an advantage. Oh, my neck. But I can get my full ass claw. Like, I just get the full claw. I go from having 6% lifesteal to having a full Bancross with an extra 6% attack speed. That's That's a pretty massive swing. That's a pretty huge swing. He's getting the XP camp. That's fine. My secrets is itself a secret. He's backing. He's going to lose a lot of tower damage here. That was a very weird back. Good for me. Let's 
gonna run to his tower line. I hold the secrets of life and death. Okay. Fine. All right, tower down. He's probably going to steal my my blue buff there, but I think I'm okay giving up my blue buff for the tower if it means that Bull Demon opens up for me. And actually, he didn't even go for it. I guess it... How long my blue buff has been up, it's kind of a safe bet that I've already taken it. But I don't know. I do not know. Hello? You don't even come close to winning any of these fights. get bull demon but like actually I don't think I need bull demon he just used both of his minions he just used literally both of his minions to try to clear that wave so I couldn't get phoenix damage and I still could get phoenix damage so I think I'm actually completely okay I don't want you having your blue buff but why did he just teleport? Hello. Okay. I definitely ulted too early there. It's okay, because he missed his thing. I uh, don't think you win this. I did miss my one, but... Still feeling pretty confident. All right, cool. I used my regen form in my two just to make sure that I was completely fine there. And uh, did the buff and I'm dude, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I kind of just want to go Toxic Blade, but I know that's super dumb, so I'm not going to. But I, trust me, I want to. I'm going to go Thorns just for the fighting. I know Thorns is stupid when you're playing a Magical God because it's magical damage and they're building magical defense already because you're the character you are. So I know it's dumb, but just for a little bit of an edge during a fight, it might be enough. Because I haven't actually killed him yet. I think I'm going to push this wave and then one more. And then go for Bull Demon. Okay. My guess is... Either he's going for Bull Demon, which would be an interesting play, or he's just waiting for my minion wave. He, he was just waiting. It's fine. I'm comfortable enough to go for this, I think. Oh, there's a blink. Or uh, an alt. Okay. He teleported away. Oh, I hate that. Boy, do I hate that.
That is mildly infuriating. You can tell he's just playing to try to get under my skin right now. Which, unfortunately, is not working for him. Because I'm still incredibly far ahead. All he's really done is delay my Phoenix push. I wanted to pick up red, by the way, before I... Oh, you got a lot of cooldowns, my guy. You know what's so weird is that even though he got Bull Demon there, I actually got further ahead. Because even though he got Bull Demon, I still pushed him out, got the XP camp, and I'm gonna get all three, um, all three buffs with the XP camp, and I didn't lose like any tower damage at all. Ouch, it hit me for 18 damage. That was fucked up, dude. My guy, I do far too much damage for you to be messing around like that. I do far too much damage for you to be... ...assuming that I do none. I'm down to hit this a couple times. Oh, okay. That was everything. There it is. There it is. I did ult a little bit early there, but the reason I ulted so early was because... It would make him think that that fight was going in his favor. He'll think that I panic ulted and he still has a lot of time left on his alt, On his alt cooldown. So, um... He'd be able to win the fight after that. But... Not exactly how it worked. Jeez. Jeez, man. I did that one back and got a full demonic and a tier two of another thing and just was able to demolish after that. It was a good game, though. <coughs> it was a good game. I'll give him that. He only died... Well, he died twice, but the, the second death was defending, obviously. But, um... Yeah. I don't know. I'll see you guys in the next game. Hello, boys. Welcome back to the next game. Um, I kind of want to play Kali. Because I tried to get a Kali game in the Tuesdays video. And every game after that, she's been banned. And I want to show off the Transcendence Kali. I don't like the on her matchup. I'll be honest. Well, actually... My problem with it is that when you jump on on her, he can either jump your jump and then knock you into a wall, or he can just straight up knock you with his two before you even land your your jump. Which sucks. That one, it hurts a lot. So that's the reason I don't like the matchup. The, the reason I do like the matchup, though, is because my ult makes me knockback immune. <clears throat> so if I, if I have an opportunity where I jump on him... And he's running away. I jump on him. He's going to try to 180 and, and knock me back. But when he turns and I alt, I get like an extra 2-3 autos on him.
Nice, I hit two of those. Good. Oh, gosh. I don't really want to fight in this area. I don't love it too much. Also, I don't want to give him red buff. I also don't want to throw my two at him. Because uh, I like wave clear. And he just used his two, so... Right now is a very good opportunity for me to out-pressure him and start my, my red buff journey. Because I actually get my mannequins on my on the buff, which means he can't steal it with the mannequins. He has to actually land his auto. Very good for me. Very good for me. Super out traded. I'm glad I had the restraint to not go for that when he was uh doing everything he could for the for the minis. I am using my two on him again. My my main goal is to poke him out at the moment. And if I can get a little bit of healing off of these. Perfect. Using my mannequins ticks and the burst damage for my two, which is actually not insignificant. It's it's like a hundred burst damage. Um I'm just slowly getting ahead. It's, it is slow, but it's working. There we go. I got every buff and I got the XP camps. Every buff and the XP camps. Now... I'll greed this wave only because... Uh, he's not here. And... There's nothing on the map for me to lose by greeting. I have enough time to literally run all the way back to my fountain if I need to, so... I'm chilling. I'll grab this and this and this... And get ready for a fight, because he is gonna try to make a comeback here. Because, you know, being 300 gold down and a couple levels down against Akali... It doesn't feel good, so... He's gonna definitely try to make some sort of... Play happen. They threw my tooth way too far there. Okay. Nice. Completely predicted. I knew he was... There's two types of on her players. The type of on her player who waits for you to line up, or the type of on her player who's super confident in their ability. The one who waits for you to line up will always wait for the jump. And, uh. That's what I abused just now. I knew he was going to wait for a, an easy moment to knock me back. And when I. When I showed him that there was going to be an easy moment. I instead, <clears throat> excuse me, jumped instead of doing some more damage. I have enough mana for a combo, like a 3-2 ult combo. I don't think it's going to matter because I don't think he's going to come for this. Yeah, just let me have it. It's the right play for him though. What I don't like is he's going to be stacking his transcendence a bit faster than I am. Because I can't really afford to not kill this wave here. So that's a little sucky, but it's fine. I'm going to see if I can maybe get his, uh, his blue again. But it's about to spawn. And he has trans, so I doubt it. I don't think I can make it there in time. Yeah, no. Unlucky. It's okay. I obviously hate the fact that I can steal his blue again, but if we look at levels, he's still level eight. I just hit level ten. We're doing just okay. Just okay. His two is down. 
means he's gonna want to jump here. He turned, wanting to knock back. And that's exactly one of the reasons, like I was talking about before, on why I like this matchup. Every on her player is the exact same, I swear to you. They all get confident that they can knock you back, and they all fuck it up against Kali Alt. Every single one of them. I don't know why. Now, he does have his ult still. He didn't, he didn't waste his ult, so... I do have to be a little bit scared. Because I don't have mine and he has his, so I'm, I'm looking at getting slapped up a bit, but... I'm going the Transcendence Hydra's build that I was going to go in Tuesday. Just so I can show it off a little bit. He's level 9 and I'm level 11. He definitely... Oh my god, I'm level 12. He definitely hits level 10 off this wave, right? There's no way I'm three levels ahead. Yeah, okay. I did actually like over 100 damage. I did 173 damage. And you try to jump. It's too predictable, man. It's too predictable. I've played way too much Kali and way too much on her to not know exactly how this matchup is played out. Uh, I could maybe hit the tower for like five, six times. I don't think it's too worth it. I'd rather just go back, finish my hydras, and start bursting. Also, I could go uh, stone cutting here or serrated edge here. Both increase my burst damage quite a bit. I jump in. You're going to either knock back or jump. Choose to jump. Now you choose to knock back. And you die to my ult. And my insane damage from Transhydras. I think this is one of the most, I guess, impressive matchups I, I know. Just because I know it from both sides. Like, I know exactly how they're they're both going to play. The Kali or the Honor in this matchup. And then you can abuse it both ways. Like, both directions. <clears throat> like, if I was the Honor, I would know that the Kali's going to jump on me and expect me to do... He's, the Kali's going to jump on me and expect me to react, right? By either knocking back or jumping. So the best thing to do is honestly nothing. You just auto trade with the Kali for a little bit, a little while. And then the Kali is going to get a little too comfortable, and that's when you strike. That's when you, when you you either jump away if you don't think you can win the fight, or you stun to a wall because they haven't ulted yet. Uh, I'm also thinking, what if I just win some crit next item? I do love the Transhydra's crit build. It's very, very strong. But you can tell, even without actually getting that many kills, I only have two kills this whole game. Even without getting that many kills, just by manipulating the fights exactly how I want them to go and not how he does, I'm able to get a massive lead. I got three levels, over 2,000 gold. I'm about to go buy a Wind Demon because I want some crit on my Hydra's autos. And I'm also going to go Blink here. He does have a little bit of defense. I don't know. I, I don't think it matters. Hydra's gives you 10% pen now, so... Um, and also I get 10% pen if I get a crit. I don't care about uh, killing him right now, by the way. I just wanted to poke him out a little bit so he couldn't fight me. So I can get the Phoenix. Okay. You do know you don't win this, right? I think my two kills him. Oh, he Aegis it. 
All right. Now I think I can kill him just because I have my alt up. So I'll jump in. I'll juke it. I'll stun. Obviously, he wants to knock me back. I'm not going to let him. I'm just going to chase him around. There's a really good uh, control by him there. But he is dead to minions, so it doesn't matter. Well, he's not dead to minions. But he is dead to me. Okay. I landed on him and got a 1200 HP heal. Mainly because I think he died, not because it actually healed me that much. All right, cool. And that should be game. I think I can do enough damage to this in time. Maybe. Uh, maybe not. Okay. Now I'm waiting for his jump. There it is. And now I kill him. Land on him for a massive heal. And now he dies. And now we win the game. 11 minutes, 4-0. Very well executed. All right, nice. And uh, I think I got one more game in me for this Try Hard Thursday. So I'll see you guys in the next game. Hey, what's up, Sexy Samurai Squad? This is going to be the last game of the video. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit up a Vulcan game. I haven't played a solid Vulcan game in a while, so... Well, actually, that's not true. I did 60% cooldown Vulcan. But, uh... I haven't done, like, a try-hard Vulcan game in a while. Joy Box is your name. Okay. Alright. Mr. Joy. Let me, uh... Hold on. I gotta turn my face cam off real quick. Alright, cool. Um... I can go... I mean, I want... Hmm, actually. It's not as easy as I thought. I'll go Shell, and I think I want... Conduit? And the Bancrofts. And then I'm not gonna go... Uh, Multipots, I'm actually gonna go Mana Pots. And my reasoning is, I gotta use my three defensively. As Not as in like, oh, he's running at me, I gotta knock him back, but... I have to use my three as a knockup for his wave clear because, I mean, everyone knows Kabrakin's wave clear is his three. So if I can stop his wave clear just a bit, I'm in a great spot. I don't care about actually getting the whole, um, the whole buff. Okay. I don't think that's very good for him. Yeah, he... I used my three early, so I could try to bait him into thinking that it was a good move to still use his. But he was in my entire wave. Like, it's not a great spot for him. This is my blue, by the way. Thank you. Perfect. Literally perfect. Oof. Now I just zone him out. Oh, good shell, man. Hello? This is going to be rough for him. Because it's not as simple as, like, being aggressive anymore. You're going to go for the wave or no? Perfect. He stood back because he wanted the wave and he needed the wave to group up and not aggro to him. And, uh, I mean, I just waited for him to show up because I knew that's what he would do. I don't know, dude. I'm on some shit today. I've just been predicting the ever loving crap out of everybody I've, everybody I've been fighting. Normally. You don't ever see a Vulcan alt kill. Thank you, baby. You don't ever see a Vulcan alt kill. But, um... Oh, I messed this one up. Something fierce. Okay, never mind. I don't know why he used his three instead of another ability. Could ult me here. 
I'm not in any danger though. There's no way you walk this direction. You're gonna take far too much damage, my dude. And in fact, you may die here. Yeah. I don't know. Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer, man. I'll tell you that much. How are you going to clear? If I place this here, what are you going to do? Lose most your HP. And still not even clear the back line? Oh my gosh. He is having a rough time, dude. All right, I'm just going to back here. I'll let my minions do a little bit of tower damage. I could stay and maybe do about... Oh, I might even be able to take the tower, honestly. Just by knocking him back, not letting him clear, but... It's fine. I'm a thousand gold ahead with two kills. I don't think losing my lead is uh, anything I need to be scared of at the moment. And I am maxing the two instead of the three because I don't think my three is going to be used for much of anything other than, like I said, early game stopping some wave clear. And I think he knows that because of the way he's playing very clearly. I could kill here easily. Oh, I missed my three. If I didn't miss it, he was dead. That's all right. He's backing. I got... Could do his blue. I'll get his wave first, though. I don't think he's in any position to contest me. His best play here is not even to come to tower, and it's actually to go to blue. Which is not what he did. I'll knock him back. I'll ult this wave. And uh, I knocked him back that direction just so I could secure blue for free because if he comes over here i just meatball it you got a wave you're in that direction i'm cool with it i'm gonna place that there i maybe should be using that to help with my clear but fine. i could go get bancroft's claw oh what he got and honestly, I don't know what it does. I just know that it's good for people that spam a lot of abilities, which both of us do. There's no shot in hell that I'm letting you get my blue buff. Hmm. I don't know what I want next. I could just go divine and shut down his Bancrofts. Or I could go... Hmm, I could go Talisman. And just be super tanky. I think I'm going to go the Divine route. And I'll go Beads also. My turret hits him for 177. It's not even maxed yet. Jeez Louise. It, your turret takes more damage from non-god sources. And it ignores 25% of the magical protection they have? I did not know my turret had 25% pen. What if I ult you? Which way are you going? Hello. Oop. Oop. There's the claw coming in handy. Which way? What? Where, where are you going? Pop. Dude, it's too much. Being Vulcan is... <laughs> it's so oppressive. Like, what? what is he supposed to do there? When I just wall him off from going a direction because of my turret? And then W key him. Like, what's the actual game plan? Two thousand gold ahead now. Damn. Oh my god. Shut your mouth. 
My turret did 1,300 damage to him. No, it did 1,200 damage to him. Oh my god. That is too much. I think my level 1 meatball will clear. Backline. Oh, he wants me. You have blink. You're level 11. Hello. I don't know, dude. My turret held off the entire wave and cut off his path of... I meant to press two, not three. And cut off his path of retreat. Like, it just completely stops whatever he wants to do. Also, I can use my... I pressed my turret at the Phoenix to keep him farther away, but he killed my turret anyway, so... Instead, what I'm going to do is let my turret take red buff for me while I back. And I think I'm just going to grab a rod. And uh, go for some massive damage. He does have poly now, so his damage is going to get up there. But I don't think it's anything I need to fear just yet. For anyone curious, a level 4 turret will kill a buff for you. If you use any ability on it, and a level 5 turret will kill a buff for you no matter what. In fact, I'm pretty sure a level 4 turret can solo a buff, but I never actually tried it because I'm I want to make sure that I get the buff. So whenever I have a level 4 turret, I always just use my one while running away from it. Oh, what's your second relic? Exactly what I thought it was. What are you gonna do to me? Oh, I think Bancroft's Claw actually let him live from uh, the shield it gave him for my one. But either way, that should be game. I have a turret. My turret does chunk. Oh my god, the tower. Oh, well, never mind. I, I literally just read that. NPC or non-god things do 50% more damage to turret. All right, GG. Uh, that's the end of Tryhard Thursday. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure to go to my socials in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. On Instagram, I give away skins and battle pass codes. On Twitter, uh, I put uh, funny memes and also my go-live tweets so you can be notified when I... Go live on Twitch. And also on Twitch, I make my best and simultaneously worst content. So uh, it's always great to follow all those things and get... They're all exclusive things. Like Things on Twitch you won't see on YouTube. Things on YouTube you won't see on Twitch. And Twitter and Instagram are the same thing. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do what I told you earlier. And peace.